Um, I'd like for you to just kind of take a moment to imagine with me that uh, in the 2020 Tokyo Games, you have an opportunity to um, engage in your, your first Olympic experience um, in coaching or coach development. And, and, then, and then you continue in every Olympic cycle to participate on, in either the Olympic Games or the Paralympic Games until 2056. That will give you an idea of the experience that John is going to talk about this morning in his 50 years um, in coaching and coach development. So I'm just going to, I mean, what else can you say, right? So um, please join me in welcoming John Kessel, the Director of Sport Development for USA Volleyball. Um, I, I, I hope I can move around, but this mic is uh, tied into there, and, and we want to make sure that we get this recorded right, So, because this is probably kind of like my swan song with you guys. Um, I think what I've put together to help you get along faster is all in this, and for those of you that speed read well, um, what I'd just like you to do is see what I've collected over the last 50 years and pick up the ideas that are here because there's a lot of ideas that we're going to go through in the next hour, um, as well as some cartoons and humors and things like that. So this is the, uh, that's my cheat sheet that I urge a lot of you to use to be able to do things um, in a more effective way. Officially, though, we've got this PowerPoint, and we'll start it. You, oh, wait, slideshow, sorry, from the beginning. All right. So, the first thing I'd like to thank you is your time. I mean, I'm thinking there's 200 hours of life being spent listening to me right now, and I'm honored and thankful that you uh, are willing to listen to me for this time, and hopefully I'll make it worth your while. Um, I think Penn said it right, you know? It's what we want the most and use the worst. So here's the first thing that's valuable. What is this? This is a nose flute, okay? A nose flute is a a way for all you guys that can't whistle and forget your whistle to be able to simply put it over your nose and without any problems, including playing the national anthem or something, or variations of a theme. I think that this is one of the coolest practical tools for team building because nobody knows how to play a nose flute and so Watching kids learn how to play a nose flute is quite worthwhile, as well as hysterical. Um, we talked about that. The term Ancora Amparo, the title of this keynote, is something that I learned from... I guess I would have to thank Michelangelo, because he said it when he was painting at age 87, that he was always learning. That's what that translates to in Italian. And the, you know, I know we've said preaching to the choir, here you guys are all learners, but I'm, it's my intent in the next hour to give you tools to help your learning to be more efficient and more effective. That's what I'm here to do. This is a Latin term, sitius altius fortius, and it means swifter, higher, stronger in my Olympic world. Um, the er side of things is essentially uh, the most important part. Everybody can't be a gold medalist, but you can focus on your er. And I would urge some of you to go out and look at Olympism as a topic and bring it to your teams or bring it to your programs because Olympism talks about the er and not about the est, to be the er on anything we're talking about. 